An annual award ceremony in Los Angeles is honoring some of our generation's best writers. It recognizes the writers of the future. And one of those authors here is Julie Frost from West Jordan. Thanks for being here this morning, Julie. Thank you for having me. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> so what award are you receiving? Uh, I won third place in the fourth quarter of volume thir 32. Of what? Writers of the Future. Okay, so they, what they do is they take a bunch of writers and they put them together in a book? Yeah. Is that what happens? Well, what happens is you enter the contest. Okay. And uh, it's all anonymous judging. And uh, then they, they read the stories and uh, they pull out the best ones. And uh, you get a top eight and then they pull the top three out of that. And they do that four times a year. Okay, so you are one of those people selected to have your stories published in a collective book with the rest one of the story. Yeah. One story. One story. For the yeah. writers of the future. That's got to feel really good. It was awesome. I've entered this contest 29 times. <laughs> and this is the first time you've won? <laughs> yeah. Well, you can only win once. Okay. Once you win, you can't enter anymore. So you're a one and done now. So, yeah. <laughs> so what happens? So, uh, you go down to L.A. I'm yep. sure there's an award ceremony. They fly us out to L.A. There's mm -hmm. a week-long workshop with a bunch of pro professional writers, um, Kevin J. Anderson and Orson Scott Card and Larry Niven. and Some of those uh, big author yeah, names. Big yeah, big names. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, Tim Powers. Um, David Wolverton slash Farland. The name goes on and yeah. on and on. Yeah, it really is just enormous, and it's a it's a big opportunity to learn more about the craft and get more networking in, and uh, it's just it's going to be amazing. So hopefully, you can I write more books in the future. That's I the am. idea. Yeah. So what happens in the book that you submitted that you won for? Uh, actually, it was a short story. Mm -hmm. um, it's called uh, Cry Havoc, and mm -hmm. I write a lot of werewolf fiction. Uh, Dave Farland. Oh, I can see that. You got the werewolf shirt on. Yeah. You got the <laughs> wolf pin. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know. So it's a, a werewolf fiction story. Yeah, it okay. is. Uh, I wrote, and Dave Farland, who was the coordinating judge of the contest, famously hates werewolf fiction. Really? Yes. So you In were fact, against the odds here. Yeah. Well, and I got a finalist a couple, a few quarters ago in the last volume, and it didn't actually win, but it was a werewolf story, and Dave blurbed my novel here and part of his blurb was I normally hate werewolf fiction but Julie Frost wolves are different and better. <laughs> <laughs> well kudos to you. And so I That's a feather in your cap. Yeah, it is. And so I made the determination that if I because the book got published and once you once you publish a novel and you sell 5000 copies you mm -hmm. can't enter the contest anymore. It's for neo pro gotcha. and new writers not for, you know, professional authors. So if people who are amateurs want to get in the same contest, mm -hmm. I mean, how do they get involved like you did? Oh, uh, they just go to writersofthefuture.com and uh, there's a, a rule. Uh, so we're looking at the awards ceremony there. Of course, here's yeah. the website you're referencing this mm -hmm. morning. This is where they go if they want to be able to enter the same contest. Right, yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's a, there's a, uh, there's a link there for the rules and uh, how to enter. Okay. All right, if people want to pick up your book, where do they do that? They can go to Amazon.com mm -hmm. and I've look up that. Pack Dynamics by Julie Frost. Okay, oh, there's, there's another, another Pack Dynamics. There's another Pack Dynamics. It's not mine. We don't want that Pack Dynamics. No. Just Julie Frost Pack Dynamics. <laughs> yeah. And you've got, coming up at the awards ceremony, uh -huh. I mean, there's a lot of things happening over there, and I think it's like a black tie event. I yeah, understand. yeah. There's, you get a big, you get a nice dress and everything, and uh, they, You can have a werewolf on the dress. Uh, no, but I have a shawl that's got wolves on it. I knew there would be something. <laughs> All right, thank you much. Julie thank Frost you. here, local author who is one of the writers of the future. Congratulations. Thank you.